Hey, it's Dr. Travis Whitney, founder of the Nate Healthcare Institute. And today's question that we're gonna go over is, how many stem cells do I need? Uh, so you have a problem, you're at the point where you haven't found a solution, you probably tried everything, and you wanna know, man, I've heard about, I've been reading about stem cell therapy. I've heard from so-and-so about stem cell therapy. Great, I really wanna do it. It's promising, I've heard these miraculous results, I wanna do it. Well, how? What's my dose? Like, how, how do I know what's going to help me? Short answer, no one really knows. We don't know. We have some very, very educated guess, uh, guesses. We have experience, you know, from clinical experience. So I've treated uh, you know, 500 knees. We've really narrowed it down to this is your pathology. You know, this is where you have a torn meniscus. You have osteoarthritis in your knee. This is the dose I think it's going to take for based on the other 100 or so I've done like that. So there's no black, there's no book, there's no black and um, you know white book that we open up and we say, oh, well, this is the problem. It needs this amount of cells. Uh, so it's really important to work with somebody that's experienced, that uh, is up to par on the research. We have some guidelines, the International Society for Cell and Gene Therapy. I think they're still recommending about two to three million cells per kilogram of body weight. Factor somebody's weight in convert it, you know, here in the States, we convert pounds to kilograms, and then you'd apply that many cells uh, for that dosage. So we do have some common uh, doses that I've used a lot over the years. 100 million is good for, to like maybe um, some mild to moderate knee, shoulder pain, would definitely be good for like an ankle or wrist. Spine, maybe somewhere on, maybe if it's a very isolated part of, of back pain, but that surface area starts to get a lot bigger when you're working on a neck or, or, or low back. And so then we move up to something like 300 million cells. Um, in, in children with autism, we tend to start somewhere around here and we, we can dose these differently. We can break these doses up. It doesn't, it's not always like 300 million at once. You can do hundred million and then sometimes I'll bring a patient back and we'll apply another hundred million um, or Something we see in, in very chronic conditions like, you know, a moderate to severe autism, um, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, diabetes, something where it's, it's going to take a year or so at least to really see the transformation that you want to see. We'll do, we'll dose cells in the billions um, and we'll divide those up and we'll keep up applying them over, you know, every week, every month, every few months. Kind of depends on the logistics of the patients, how how often are they able to get into the clinic? And one thing that we don't do, so as a big no-no for you to be looking out on, if you're looking for um, uh, to have this treatment or treatments done, is we don't dose these stem cells. If you're looking at how many you need, we don't dose these in units or milliliters or cc's. So sometimes you'll 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 hear a place you'll you'll talk to a place they'll be like oh yeah we're gonna give you five units of stem cells uh, for this price five thousand six thousand and you're like wow that's that sounds great it's definitely cheaper than than the other places I've talked to that's not a standardized unit of measurement uh, for stem cells units I don't know where it kind of came from it doesn't really mean anything in the dosage world we measure them in millions. Um, or in billions. The volume is another one. You can measure it in a volume. I can say I'm giving you five milliliters of stem cells, but how many stem cells are in that five milliliters? I can put a hundred million in. If you go watch our video on stem cell preparation, um, I can put a hundred million. I can put 300 million cells into five milliliters. So this isn't an accurate representation on really what you're getting. Uh, if, if somebody does say, well, I'm Oh, I'm getting five milliliters. I'm going to get three milliliters of stem cells. You really need, um, you need to know the concentration in the form of the millions uh, that you're getting. Um, so I hope that was um, a, a little bit educational. I hope it got you a little bit of peace of mind that there is really no 100% magic number. Um, I guess depending on who you're asking or what doctor or what clinic you're going to see. We do have some guidelines and we do have some clinical experience that helps us guide as to, yeah, this is what you're going to see. Because as I tell my patients, I'm always as successful as my patients. So 
when I come to my dosing, I take into consideration what the patient wants and but also what I'm gonna think is gonna get the best results because if you're spending your time and money uh, to go through with these procedures, you wanna have success, right? So there's no reason for me to, to underdose uh, so I, I give my best uh, uh, approximation of that. But hit the subscribe button. To, uh, you can stay up to date on um, the latest uh, uh, regenerative medicine and, and stem cell videos that we do. And write a comment. Send us a good question that, uh, that you'd like to see a video um, on here about. And we'll see all y'all in the next video.